and welcome back to Rishi on Demand. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I post videos over on this channel all the time about a bunch of random stuff, mostly vlogs about my age gap relationship. So if you like content like that, consider joining the tribe down below. So guys, today's video is going to be something completely different than I've ever posted before. Y'all know if y'all are oldie but a goodie, then I normally post vlogs about my life and I might post some advice about money and budgeting from my career. But today's video is all about my Pochette Matisse. Yes, you guys have seen it in the vlogs. I've gotten so many compliments about my bag. How is it holding up? And I've been asked this so many times and I wanted to share it here on a video with you guys. Now, if you're interested in me doing more luxury related videos, because I'm not a super showy person, but if you're interested in that type of content, like this video and leave this emoji and I'll know that you're interested in my luxury purchases. I also have some replicas not in any way advocating for the purchasing of replica items but there are some items that I bought replicas of to try out the style before I committed to the couple of thousand dollars it costs to buy these items. So if you're interested in that also leave that emoji and uh, like this video. So you all are here for the Pochette Matisse. How's it been holding up? Okay so this bag um, I have used every single day pretty much since the day I bought it. It's just so practical for me and my lifestyle. Um, traveling, not traveling, exploring the city, going to work. I use it every single day. I haven't babied it at all and I wanted to show y'all what would your Pochette Matisse look like potentially if you literally trashed the bag. When I say trashed, I mean it falls on the floor at work, it hits the floor in the car, I just yank it up, my son grabs it for me. I mean, I've not babied this at all. And I've only conditioned it once, like super early on when I got it and I just felt like that was just too much work for me. Like I know these bags are really expensive, but I'm just not that fussy of a person. And if I was planning on reselling it or something, maybe I would, but I wasn't, so and I'm not so anyway without further ado here is my pochette Matisse it's I still have it full of my things because I want to show y'all how much I pack inside this thing let me turn it on the side so you can see it's stuffed <laughs> like even on the bottom like it is stuffed full almost all the compartments are full um, and I carry it all the time. I mean, look at this side. Look at how much. It's, anyway, it's deforming the bag, but this is my pochette Matisse. Here. As you can see, I have my little hand sanitizer. And I always wear it with the strap. But for today's video, I'm going to take the hand sanitizer and the strap off really quickly and empty it out. So give me just a moment. Okay guys, so I have emptied it out. The bag is a little misshapen from me always having it full. I'm going to show you guys really quickly <laughs> everything that I have um, had in this bag probably for at least the last month or so. I had so much stuff in this bag. I'll show y'all in just a minute. But this is what the bag looks like. It's completely empty. As you can see, it's not all... It's poofed out because it's used to being in that state, but it is empty. So, um, this is the Pochette Matisse in the monogram canvas um, with the um, non treated Pochetta uh, with uh, gold hardware. I don't think it comes in a different hardware unless, unless you get the Ombre. I'm not sure. Anyway, I purchased this bag in the fall of 2019. So, this is the version that has the metal. Um, Louis Vuitton zipper pull, not the, some earlier versions have the leather uh, zipper pull, but this is the one with the metal. Um, so yeah, this is what the bag looks like. It does line up normally. Hopefully you can see there it lines up. So this is an authentic bag. It, it's all warped and misshapen. So that's one thing that I've noticed, um, which is to be expected with this bag. If you pack it to the gills on a regular basis, it will start to retain that shape. And I'm pretty sure that's 
with any bag. I know um, when you re first receive some bags that are folded um, and they have to be shipped to you, um, they will retain that shape until you, you know, stuff them and probably sit them in the sun or something like that. So that is true with this bag as well. I mean, it has been jam packed with things in every single compartment. Um, and yeah it's holding this shape it is very much patinaed on the handle here i just want to show you the handle i want to show you what it used to look like so if you if i can slide it all the way this way if you get up close you see that is what the vachetta looked like when i got it and this is this beautiful honey um beautiful honey color that it is now um that is because i like i said i have not babied this and with everything that happened last year with um the pandemic and things like that um i've been washing my hands a lot i've been hand sanitizing my hands a lot and i've been using hand cream a lot i actually have a hand cream that was in the bag um so um yeah if you look really closely you'll see like scuffs and some marks some unevenness here on the bag and that is from me just you know yanking it up like this or um just throwing it in my car or getting scratched up by keys and everything like that um so yeah that is the wear and tear that I can see on the handle. All of the stitching, however, is still really, really good. It's still really, really sturdy. It does have that double stitching. Oh, I'm gonna get really close up on y'all. But it does have that double stitching here and um, on the back as well for both sides. So it's still very sturdy. I still feel very confident holding it. I don't feel like it's gonna break or anything like that. Um, I don't really carry it like this often. I have a couple of times, but um, I use it, I, I pick it up like this a lot. But as far as like walking around with it, let me scoot back. As far as walking around with it, I don't really just carry it top handle very often. I usually use the strap. Um, so yeah, speaking of the strap, let me grab it really quickly. Um, this strap, as you can see, I'm trying to hold it out it doesn't have any kinks it's very well made even though this strap has been bent and turned and all kinds of things it is not bent you can see here on the buckle that the buckle has Louis Vuitton it is rounded even though this is a um square buckle it is rounded like um it should be and um yeah there is a little bit of tarnishing um on the the buckle not on the rivets the rivets are not tarnished at all i don't know if y'all can see that because of the lighting but the rivets aren't tarnished at all the stitching um on the strap still looks really really good <clears throat> I do see um, some wearing on the glaze uh, I don't know if you can see some wearing on the glaze right there but the actual stitching is perfect um the d-rings are holding up perfectly fine the lobster clamps have a little bit of tarnishing but nothing to write home about it still works um it still has that beautiful louis vuitton and yeah all in all i will say this strap is doing its job so back to the bag so like i said i've used this bag every single day for the last 18 months um with very very few breaks in between which is why i'm reviewing it today uh when i bought this bag it was 
about two thousand dollars maybe like 1900 i'm not sure i'm gonna look up the retail cost for it right now on the louis vuitton site when i purchased this bag it was about eighteen hundred dollars maybe 19 if i'm not mistaken this particular print in the monogram canvas for ship matisse retails for two thousand and fifty dollars um so that's great um if you get some other leathers like the emprunt the Ep i don't know if it comes in the epi leather but leather but some other um prints and styles that can be as high as twenty three hundred dollars so um yeah the lock here still works you just press it and it opens i've not had any issues with the lock not locking or anything like that it's a little difficult to close when it's empty but you just close it like that and it's secure <laughs> y'all um so yeah you just open it like that and this is the inside of the bag um so yeah it's really dirty in here because i literally just emptied it out but that is the lining and um i don't see many i have a few stains in here i think from like eyeliners and things because i I don't carry a, a case but um like I don't know if you can see it in there there's like a stain on this vachetta here and then um, stain right there um, otherwise there's like grit and stuff in here just from um, probably dirty change or anything like that it's still super soft and buttery I don't see a ton of scuffs and marks inside just trying to show y'all everything um uh, the zipper on the back still works fine it still opens and closes very easily um none of the zipper uh, teeth are missing um i saw a review of a bag from was it Prada it was like one of Prada's older style totes and some of the little teeth were missing and she was saying that um she was not not happy about that um considering the money um this little pouch back here it's perfectly fine I normally only slip like cards and a little bit of cash in here so it's perfectly fine and the date code tag is in here as well I can't. anyway it's in there so I don't know see. let me see if I can, I can let y'all see it's in there right there and it's still intact so um this bag the only wear and tear on this bag that I can see are um the glazing on this flap because of the open and close function of the bag um has been known to crack and wear away and it has on on my bag you can see here that little it's where it's worn away there and a little bit there as well I'm trying to get it to focus yeah there as well um i can send it in to get it replaced but then i'll have to be without my bag for four to eight weeks and i know they had to tell you that because they can't tell you exactly how long it'll be and to me it just does not bother me that much especially considering i use this bag every single day um i love this bag now the optimal question is is this bag worth the money at about 2050 dollars us right now um, 18 or 1900 when I bought it um, the answer is that is up to you um, this bag I have enjoyed it I have loved using it I get so many compliments on it um, all the time um, still to this day I have uh, the young lady at the sauna where I go asking me um, if I'm willing to sell it and um, I honestly am not and it's not that I would be 100% opposed to selling it's just that I truly enjoy the bag um and I can't 
guarantee that I wouldn't just rebuy it. So um, my thought process is why well, sell it and then uh, turn around and rebuy it for the more expensive price if you didn't know. Louis Vuitton as well as um, many other luxury houses, fashion houses, Chanel being one of them, Gucci also being one of them. They all did a massive price increase during the beginning of 2020 beginning to middle of 2020 so a lot of the more popular bags have increased in price um so yeah i bought the pochette matisse right when everyone was uh at least in my demographic my age group was raving over the neverfull and the pochette matisse was really really popular as well and it was popular in lots of different prints and reverse monogram and all that kind of stuff but i just stuck with the traditional monogram i think it's timeless i think it goes with a lot of things i wear this with jeans and a t-shirt and i wear this with um nice dresses out uh, i do have some more purchases coming one authentic and two replicas from some instagram sellers if you're interested in that leave a comment down below and um yeah so that's that on the pochette matisse i love the bag i think it's an amazing value i know some people have had issues with their pochette matisses and have to have had them repaired or returned or exchanged i haven't had that issue at all i love this bag it will be a fixture in my collection forever um so yeah that's that i think it's worth the money so yeah that's pretty much it for today today i just wanted to talk about the pochette matisse because i've been getting questions about it how do i enjoy it and things like that um i've also been getting questions on whether i think it's worth the price and i do now that's because of many factors and if you want me to do a video on um what i think warrants you investing in luxury pieces then sure i will um most of you know me by now y'all know i'm not very showy i don't show the things that i have because that's just not who i am but i have had some interest in that side of my life and i'm happy to share it with you guys here on youtube you're my youtube babies my youtube family so i'm more than happy to share it um so yeah i'm interested in doing whatever y'all want me to do so definitely if you're new here and you enjoyed this video and you checked out my other videos definitely consider subscribing down below it will mean so 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 much to me um definitely follow me over on instagram dm me any questions you may have on the pochette matisse or on any other luxury bags and if i have them i'll review them if i don't have them i'll look into them and i might get them and then i'll review them so um yeah thanks so much for joining me you guys you guys have an amazing rest of the first month of 2021 and i'll see y'all here for the next video